Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A small update on my health. I am feeling a lot better, but I still get dizzy, so I cannot make myself sit in front of a camera because that just takes up six hours of my day, and I'm still a little weak. So please pardon me till I'm able to hustle harder. So today I'll be talking about a few things that you should know about retail employees. This is not a defamation video toward any brand or person, but just a space to state a few reasons why retail employees should receive a little more respect than they do. I was a salesperson myself at one point, but there are those who have been doing this for decades and still continue to work in retail. So I feel like they deserve a little bit of a spotlight, just like the brand that they work for do. And since I'm not on camera, I will be putting clips of me playing the dinosaur game, or I don't know what it's called. It's the game you can play on your web browser when your internet is disconnected. So yeah, that just so you guys aren't staring at a blank screen. So without further yapping, let's get on with the video. Number one, retail employees have nothing to do with sales or discounts. A lot of customers keep demanding that the salesperson who's helping them with the products and purchases should also hand out free stuff along with the products they're buying or extra discounts, etc. This is not only not possible for employees to do, but it's also not authorized. They aren't allowed to make these decisions or changes, and if by any chance an employee does comply with these kinds of requests from a customer, it can reflect horribly on the concerned employee. Their salary could be deducted, they might receive a warning letter, or they might even lose their job. I've had customers yell in my face saying things like, I bought 50,000 bucks worth of products in your store, I deserve a discount or at least a few free products or I will not consider this good customer service. Well, Karen, yelling at the salesperson will not help you in any way because discount rates and distribution of free samples with purchase is up to the CEO or the board of directors of the company, not the employees. They simply follow protocol and they absolutely cannot take executive decisions. The only way they represent the company is shown according to their personal grooming, their product knowledge, communication skills, kindness, etc. They have nothing to do with the major decisions when it comes to product pricing or availability. So please be patient and understanding toward them. If you have any issue with the company, you can confide in the store manager because surprise, surprise, they aren't just there for you to complain about an employee you didn't like, but they can also help you with any doubts you have regarding the brand, product or the rates. You can also email the company if the former option doesn't fit you. Number two, Retail employees are responsible for every product in the store. So this is not a problem with everybody, but some of those who don't mind being in the wrong side of the law. But I'm sure you're aware that people steal. And if you're working at a cosmetic store, you'll find that there are people who don't even have a problem flicking testers. That is disgusting. It's unhygienic. So whoever you are, good luck with your face warts and acne. I remember girls in my school declaring that even though they are against stealing, they wouldn't mind stealing from a high-end brand because they profit a lot anyway and losing a few products wouldn't hurt the company. And at the time, I didn't think too much of it. But once I became a retail employee myself, I realized a very sad truth. Like the title says of this point, retail employees are responsible for every product in the store. It's as literal as it gets. They always have to keep a lookout on all the products, testers and the fresh pieces. They have to keep counting them, they have to arrange them according to their shelf plan, they have to clean and organize them. So when a random douchebag decides to shoplift, guess who gets the short end of the stick? Yup, the employees. Let's say someone shoplifted rupees 5000 worth of products from the store. Guess who has to pay back the amount to the company for their loss? Right again, the employees. Some companies are a little lenient and they divide the amount between every employee in that particular store. So for example, if there are five people working in the store, each of them have to give up a thousand bucks. And mind you, retail workers, especially in India, don't earn a lot to begin with. So to give up a thousand bucks for something that isn't even their fault to begin with is heart-wrenching. Number three, it is a struggle for retail employees to put on a smile every day. It is protocol for employees to always smile and greet at every customer that walks into the store and maintain the rapport till the said customer leaves the store. That being said, the fact that employees are also human beings with normal lives and feelings is a given. So if they don't seem as vibrant or enthusiastic as they're supposed to be, please cut them some slack. They deal with all kinds of customers throughout the day and do all kinds of work. Retail employees don't just sell products, they also have to count new stocks, enter their codes into the system, arrange and clean testers, clean and arrange the back room, 
set up the fresh products in their respective drawers or shelves, get supplies for the store, etc. And along with all this physical labor, they also deal with the sweetest to the most rudest customers with outlandish demands that they cannot possibly fulfill. And this can all take a toll on a person mentally. Especially considering the fact that they are doing this 5 to 6 days a week for 9 to 10 hours with only 30 minute breaks. Also, it is a lot harder for people who menstruate because cramps, no matter how intense they can get for some people, aren't really seen as a good enough reason to take a leave for company. So imagine standing for hours when you feel as if a thousand knives are piercing through your uterus at the same time. It's really not easy. And as someone who suffers from dysmenorrhea, I can ratify that there were days I've had to hold back my tears and force a smile. If an employee is clearly being abrasive and dismissive toward your queries, that is definitely wrong on their part and you have every right to let their manager be aware of their egoistic behavior. But if they seem a little upset or down in the dumps and yet are still willing to help you with everything, please try and ignore that. Number 4. Not every brand or company gives free products to their employees. Yes, it's true that some brands do give out free products to their employees but it varies deeply across the board because it's really not the same with every brand. Let me give you an example of the cosmetic retail side since that's what I'm most familiar with. The authorized reseller Sephora gives free products to their employees which they call gratis which literally translates to free and they let their employees choose between products that have been pre-selected by the brand for them to take home. And they do this once a month if I'm not wrong, I'm not sure but there are tons of videos made by ex Sephora employees that you can check out and you'll get a thorough insight. I never received free products myself, I swear to god, but I did stupidly blow my salary on all the makeup I was constantly surrounded with. Look, when you're a makeup artist and enthusiast, you just, you just do, okay? Anyway, there are companies that do this once a month, once in two months, once in six months, once a year, or they just straight up don't give free products to their employees at all. It also depends from brand to brand as to how many products each employee can get. Some companies give more to the employee of the month, the one who has made the most sales, and then there are some who give both free products and give vouchers. Usually, the more expensive or high end the brand, the higher the chance will be for an employee to receive gratis. But don't assume it's the same for everybody and then throw shade at them as if they're influencers receiving giant PR packages. It's not that fancy. And number five, retail employees aren't losers for working in retail. There is a stigma around people who choose to work in retail that really should be looked into. Firstly, just because someone is working in retail doesn't mean they aren't talented or efficient, which by the way is the stupidest thing I've ever heard to begin with. They are probably one of the most efficient workers if I may say so myself. Like I've mentioned already, there's a lot of hard labor involved other than just the sales pitch. Also, a few people in my life have always scoffed at the idea of me even considering working in retail because to them, it's a job for people who come from underprivileged families. And that is a very close-minded approach to jobs that you benefit from at the end of the day when you walk into a store and make a purchase from these very people whom you are frowning at. Because not everyone who works there are high school or college dropouts coming from families with limited means. For example, I come from a fairly well-off family and I still worked in retail and it was truly an eye-opening experience for me because I got to see things from the other end and it made me respect retail workers a lot more than I did before. And even if there are employees who come from indigent families, which there are, that doesn't make them any less talented or efficient. They have the equal amount of potential as one coming from a privileged background. So can we not segregate and judge people for what they choose to do? That's the bottom Bottom line that's the tea spilled and everything so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful and eye-opening for you as well I'd like to thank each and every one of you for always coming back to watch my videos even at a time like this where I cannot possibly force myself to film and I appreciate your concerns and empathy I'm so happy to have hit 400 subscribers there are people out there celebrating a thousand hundred thousand or even a million and I'm out here giddy about 400 it's really great as for retail workers, please be as kind as you possibly can toward them. They have it rough enough as it is. And if you've watched this far, comment shmo. I don't know, it's just a word that popped into my brain just now. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.